Reality shows already do a fantastic job at embarrassing their contestants and making them look bad on live TV, but some are better than others. Shows that even go as far as just flat out ruining the lives of their contestants, all for our entertainment at home. And be because it makes a lot of money. And when it comes to ruining lives, nobody does it better than the moment of truth. Now, I did cover the show a little over a year ago, so if you're a bit fuzzy on it, or if you've never heard of it at all, quite simply, contestants are just required to answer 21 questions truthfully. If they do that, then they win the grand prize of $500,000. Seems simple enough, right? Well, buckle up. Because the questions they ask, well, they vary in severity. You might get something like, uh, have you ever cheated on a test? Immediately followed up by this. Have you ever fantasized about having sex with one of your co-workers? <laughs> Darren, do you know her co-workers? Yes. And that's not even the worst one that was asked that episode. <laughs> I'd rather not know. Today I wanted to take a look at episode 5, which is actually the episode that was aired before the episode we covered in my last Moment of Truth video. I originally didn't cover this episode because this was the main episode that YouTubers were covering at the time, and I wanted to go out of my way to find a different one, but after seeing all of the comments on my last video, everyone said this one is much worse and they wanted me to react to it. So without further ado, the Moment of Truth. I'm, I'm done talking. I was, I, was just, I was just saying that's the name of the show, so I was prefacing the show is going to be played. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. I think by long debate, they meant the amount of time it took for an executive to say, no, 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 we are... We are fucking airing this. Why would we not? Respect to Mark Wahlberg, though, for having a backbone. I appreciate that about him. I also appreciate the fact that he put his foot down and said, I am, I'm not changing my name just because that other Mark Wahlberg has the same name. I also appreciate that he didn't commit any hate crimes in the 90s. That's a, that's two thumbs up for me. <laughs> but in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the moment of truth. You already know it's going to be bad when the moment of truth, the worst reality game show I've ever seen, prefaces the episode with a disclaimer saying, hey, this is, this is gonna be a really bad episode. <laughs> Tonight, the controversial episode you weren't supposed to see. And I wonder if the retention on my videos would do better if I started every video with, this was the video you guys weren't supposed to see. Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna post it, but I decided I'm going to anyways. I feel like that would make them do a lot better. Like people would be like, whoa, why? <laughs> Prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they can change their answers tonight. So already the fact that polygraph tests are known to be unreliable makes me question the legitimacy of this. I also don't like the fact that if you weren't being truthful before, you can change your answer if you think that's the truth. What? Given all of that information, it baffles me that nobody has taken the easiest of ways out yet. Like, there have been questions that ruin families, ruin lives, and nobody thought, you know, maybe I can... You know, I wasn't telling the truth before when you asked me that question that kind of could destroy my marriage. It, it was actually... It was actually something much better, and that's the truth now. Well, let's meet our first participant. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She is the oldest of three children. I still can't get over the way that they filmed this. They were like, can you make us something that feels like Saw 3 mixed with a Tony Hawk American Wasteland loading screen? She is married to a New York City police officer. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. When you take a step back and you look at this show at face value, whether it be the concept of the show, the questions, the set design, everything makes this look so dystopian. Like it's a game show from the future in a movie. It is... I'd say maybe about three or four steps removed from being running man. <laughs> Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet him right now. Who's Frank. here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Hi, I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. Now I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. So now we're about to very quickly see why the family and friends get this front row star treatment and... Well, it's not great. Yeah, thank you so much, Mark Wahlberg, for getting us these seats. It really makes us feel special, like we're celebrities. <laughs> yeah, you just fucking wait. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight, okay? What do you do for a living? I am 
assistant manager at a salon. So, what do you do for a living? Oh, um, actually, I'm the assistant manager at a hair salon. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when, in fact, you did? Well, no, I have never. That answer is true. So far, so good. That question was a pretty softball question, but from everything I know about this show, question number two has to be like, are you responsible for the Iraq war? What do you like to do for fun, Lauren? I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know everything and anything. Whew, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I, I just, uh, I mean, really, I like to do, I like to do everything. I mean, there's, you know, most of the time, I guess I, oh my God, just say you like watching TV or something. Holy shit. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers, so... <laughs> okay. New York's finest. Fucking pig. Anyways. Let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> that answer is... True. So while these first two questions don't really show what this program is capable of doing, the applause sounds pretty normal, like it's not that big of a deal. But later on, you will see how out of place them applauding her answers will become. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a homeless person. So your answer would be yes. Yes. That's that's smart. Yeah. Did you guys catch what the dad just said? <laughs> that's my girl Lauren. She really doesn't see them as people, not one bit. One of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that, and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right. Don't give food to homeless. Give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like. Hmm. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel better now that you've cleared it up there, Laura. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Mark here, as I almost always am. She is just like, I don't think this hole I've dug for myself is quite deep enough. Let me see what I can fucking do. Got your brother and your sister here. Are you too close to Lauren? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister? Not as close as I would like us to be, but we're close. Oh, that's cute. Okay, um, didn't ask for all that. Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? Yes, I have. Would you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. So, Lauren, do you think people can trust you and count on you? Huh. Yeah, I'd say so. All right. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? I'm okay with it. Okay with it. I've come to terms with the deafness. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from a job. That answer is true. Okay. So as you can imagine, him being a police officer, this is a little bit awkward. But don't worry, he clears it all up. Well, he he says some words. I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So I am, she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic, Frank. So the last question of this round, the one that will determine if she wins $10,000 and have the ability to move on to the next round, it's basically just, would you steal from your current job if you can get away with it? I guess sort of a follow-up to the last question and has the potential to be really fucking funny. I am going to have to say, no, I would not. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find out more about Lauren Cleary right after this. God, I forgot about this part. They do this all the time on this show. It's so annoying. That answer is... True. Congratulations. You won, yeah. honestly yeah. and legally, $10,000. You won that money honest and legally. Unlike that one thing you were talking about, remember when you you stole the money from that register, you fucking criminal? You've made it through the first level. You have $10,000. That is your money to keep, Lauren. 
If you don't walk away, it's at risk. Every time I ask a new question, you have to answer five questions to get there. Now that we got some softball questions out of the way, it's time to start hurting feelings. My favorite part. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think the answer is? Well, what do you think, Frank? Uh, um, can we just get back to her stealing money, please? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache. Honey, he didn't ask for any other examples. I, th I think we got it. That answer is true. Dad said this one's not a clapper. I'm gonna sit this one out. Seven truthful answers. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't let this one simmer and they just moved the fuck on. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Ouch. All right, question eight. Would you say you're close to mom and dad? Pretty close. Again, not as close as I would like to be, but... You aware of that? Um, I love her unconditionally. This was a tough one. <laughs> Oh. Don't answer yet. We'll be right back, right after this. God damn you, Mark Wahlberg! Do you think your parents are proud of you, yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. That answer is... Come on, 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 come on. True. Now I thought this was gonna be like the first big punch of the show, but then I realized that we're not even halfway done. It can't get that bad yet. She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Yes, I do. That answer is true. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? It's a gamble if we're gonna find out what this secret is. I don't think we will because the dad is not the main contestant of the show. Who the fuck knows at this point? It's the moment of truth. Well, I get the feeling that this is something you guys are gonna discuss without us. I think she wants to know. <laughs> yeah, so. Anything you wanna say, Mom? We'll talk later. <laughs> yep, there it is. No matter what, every episode of The Moment of Truth has at least one screaming match in the car on the way home. That might be the first, it might be the only one, who knows. I just know whether or not that secret gets revealed that dad is sleeping on the fucking couch tonight. But now she's got $25,000, which is a lot of money. Even today, I guess this was 2008, so it's not like it was that much more, but still a lot of money. And if she was smart, I would say take the money because you've already been asked some pretty difficult questions, it can only get worse from here, but $500,000 is a lot of money, and this is 2008, so of course she's gonna stay on the fucking TV show. This next tier, not later on, right now, it's gonna get deep. You wanna continue? Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just, I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest, so. Well, that changes things. Mainly what I said a few minutes ago, because now it's not about the money. She just, she wants to answer these questions. <laughs> Perhaps better ways to get things off your chest, but who am I but a guy psychoanalyzing a reality show from 15 years ago? Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? Uh, <laughs> What do you think, Frank? I think I want you to stop cutting away to me, okay, Mark? Uh, the answer is no. That answer is... True. That's 12 truthful. That one scared me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Scare you, Frank? <laughs> a little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. Yeah, her face was looking a little unsure of her answer. I don't blame them for being concerned. Think about the people, not just you, but think about the people who will hear your truth tonight. What do you want to do? Do you want question 13? Yeah. Well, they may not like the answer, but... 
but I think they'll eventually appreciate the answers. So I won number 13, lucky number 13. <laughs> I hope so for you. Well, she is confident that this will all work out and maybe that's just because she has the possibility of winning $500,000, but who knows? It might work out and everyone might be happy. Or I'll just title this video, The Game Show That Still Ruins Lives, meaning that it's not gonna work out. Spoiler alert, just look at the title. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Yes, I have. <laughs> Oh boy. True. It's in place now. Oh, oh, it's it's on now? That's that's good. I guess. You know how I mentioned people getting into screaming matches on the way home because of things said on this show? I would say that for this little snippet, but I don't think they're getting into a screaming match at all. He is not getting into a screaming match. He's just gonna sit there in the car and not talk. Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll find out later. Honey, no you won't. Next question mark. I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? Oh boy. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? I fucking love the dad's reaction here. You can tell he's so relieved that they're taking a little bit of heat off of the him keeping secrets from his wife question from earlier. Oh, man. Yes, I believe I was. That answer is... True. Yeah. Holy shit. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it given what we're doing. But it's your world, your relationship. It's your world and your relationship. Thank God, holy shit, what's wrong with you guys? Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no, I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might've been in love with them. Lauren? Why are you doing this? Seriously, why? I don't even want to do this anymore. Jesus Christ. I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Please be a celebrity baseball player. Please be a celebrity baseball player. Oh. My. God. That could still be a celebrity baseball player. I don't know. I don't fucking watch baseball. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. <laughs> this show really is fucking evil. Oh my god. Not Mark Wahlberg. He's just, he's just getting a check. But this show is really bad. It is ruining people's lives. I was not lying in the title. Hello, Frank. What's up, Mark? Loved you in Entourage. Frank has a question for you. <clears throat> and I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. If upon hearing this question, your father-in-law grabs your hand to hold, and we're not even on to the $200,000 question yet, you know it's going to be bad. I can't imagine what is to come. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> That question is a devastating question. Thank you, Mark. We we got it. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Yeah. No? <laughs> Thanks, sis. But no matter what you did, nothing's going to heal what that extended amount of silence did. She waited way too long to answer. You know her sister right now is thinking, Lauren, what is wrong with you? I didn't know you were so... Fucking messy, holy shit. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Yeah. 
I bet Frank is pissed though because he wanted to hear that question. Now if he wants to get the answer to it, he has to go out and buy a polygraph test. Because the whole reason he wanted to hear on the show is because she had to tell the truth. Now if he asked her tonight, she could just be like, oh, no? And he's gonna be like, all right, well, yeah, I fucking guess. One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend Frank will ask in place. <laughs> You know, I thought that I had screwed up by calling her husband Frank because the ex-boyfriend's name is Frank, but no, it turns out they're just both named Frank. The plot thickens like a slurry. I guess slurries aren't thick in nature, they thicken the sauce that they're editing. You know, editor, cut that out. Okay, so one, slurries are still thick. I don't know what I was talking about, but two, I didn't edit this video, Graham did. He did a very good job, but he told me I could still pretend I edited the video, so I keep this bit going, but... It doesn't feel right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna steal Valor. So, um, yeah, pretend I didn't do that. Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Um, um I want to be honest and say yes. <laughs> Okay, two things. Number one, Sis fucked up skipping that last question because this question is basically the same one, it just stings way more. And number two, the look on the dad's face just screams. Are you telling me I wasted money on a wedding with dipshit over here? And he's not even the one you fucking want? That answer is... True. Okay, audience, I think at this point we can hold off on the applause. I think we can just stop doing that now. I don't care what the sign above you says. <laughs> First of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? Frank, is there anything you want to say about this? <clears throat> nope, I'm, I'm good. With an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, that's not very funny. This is a little bigger than the game right now. Yeah, Mark, you fucking think? So you have $100,000, okay? You leave here with $100,000 right now, and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now figure out where you two are. Wait, where the hell did Frank number two go? I didn't even see him scurrying off stage, that little weasel. <laughs> so what do you want to do? You want to leave with $100,000, or three more questions get you $200,000? Three more questions. Three more. I love how everyone but Frank wants her to keep going. Like, he obviously doesn't want to be here and doesn't want to hear any more about any of this, but the family just switched up on Frank. The dad was holding his hand earlier, and now he's like, no, no. <sighs> keep going. I, I'm going to keep on going because... And the show was quick as hell with that transition. They wanted her to keep going. They knew she was gonna keep going. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I wish the button was still there. Yeah, telling me. Honestly, this show is very eye-opening. Like, you could watch a whole hour of cable and then realize that the assistant manager at your hair salon is actually one of the worst people ever just from watching the show, and you wouldn't have known unless you did. You could have been going there for years, and you're like, oh my god, Lauren, you... What the fuck? I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is... True. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Good for Frank. I'm here for Frank. 15 years later, making fun of him and his life falling apart on a TV show, but I, I'm here for his energy. Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... It's true. It's true. False. Holy shit. <laughs> that moment right there, the one of truth, 
made everything that Frank went through tonight worth it. No matter what happens tonight, what happens after tonight with Frank and his marriage, he's coming out on top. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you, do you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Hey, Lauren, you kind of glossed over a couple things, like, uh, like the things that actually make you a bad person. You haven't forgiven yourself. And you, somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Yes, fucking right! Frank, not now. I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Hopefully Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I, I wish them all the very best. Yeah, I bet they will, Mark. I bet they will. You know what I was hoping would happen was she would say, yeah, I want to be with Frank, number two, and then like ditch her husband on stage, and then Frank, number two, reject her. So then she's got nothing. But I guess right now she ultimately came out with nothing still. The cherry on top is she lost $300,000 while embarrassing Frank on live TV. So I think everything worked out in the end. Well, guys, that was Moment of Truth. And it was, uh... <sighs> Thank you for watching. I'm in chronic wrist pain. Chris James, I'm a dog. Chris James, you're a bitch, I'm a bitch.